Okay, what are we fixing first? The edger. Edger? We'll see if we see if it starts first. We'll try and start it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lovely Sunday, watching how we're going to fix this edger. Pop two. Got it on the field. All right, come here. Got so you undo that nut, okay? So turn that. Oh, Ready? Got it yeah, you can come look, but Nova's doing this bit, okay? Ready? Yeah. And then you go like that, ratchet. So, a little bit, a little bit. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Good, now the next one. All right, undo that one. Yep, keep going. I'll put it here. Not. Take this cover off and then you can pull it off for me. Uh, okay, put that somewhere safe. Uh, uh, uh. Dad, I hope this will be handy for this. Alright, so. I do something now. Yep, in a second. Why is that yep. I, 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 I. Look, we can see the engine. I just want to set. That was the plug. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah. Husk, it's a Husqvarna plug. But yeah, it looks fine. We'll make, let's check if we have spark. Yeah, I'll hold it and see if it's spark. If you want, yeah. Just touch it. You gotta to touch it to the middle. Like yeah. so just touch it on something there. Yeah, it's not, it's not. Oh yeah, it's yeah. working. All right, so we've got spark. Spark plug back in. Check that at the end. Okay, here, take this tool. Okay, put it on here. All right, and do this, do this, okay? I'll hold it, you do that. Keep going. Yeah, good boy, okay. All right, let's try it. You wanna help me start it? I think I'll take off too soon.
So we've got my father-in-law's Honda powered Atom Edger. I wasn't able to fix it at his house. We cleaned out the carburetor, did a few little things. It would start, but it won't rev out fully. So rather than get too stuck into it, I'm gonna cheat, take the easy way out, and we're going to throw in a new So I'm going to throw in a new carburetor that I got from Amazon. Just a cheap Chinese replacement. Hopefully it <laughs> fits, unlike the last, unlike the last carburetor I bought for my Echo Blower. The thing we want to do is take the air filter and backing plate off. cable off now I do have a replacement fuel line and filter which I'm not going to use the ones in there seem fine so just to make my life easier I'm going to leave these on Take the gasket off. Now we're just going to compare them side by side just to make sure that they are in fact the same. Or at least very similar. So the original carburetor is a Warbro WYB. prime it and see if we can get fuel into the bulb there we go Choke, no nothing. All right.
say that's fixed it. Let's go give it a test on the front lawn. See how she goes. So is a new carburetor kit worth it? In certain circumstances, I would say yes. Usually getting these machines running is just a case of cleaning the old carb out. But as you saw, I had a bit of a tough time with this one. It took a long time to get it started. And even then it was, just wasn't running right. A rebuild kit may have got it running on the old carb, but that would never be a guarantee. So for the $20 this cost me, I think shipped from Amazon, and you saw how easy it was to change over. Do I think it's worth it? Yeah, definitely. Especially if this machine was just gonna sit there, not getting used because it wasn't running right. So I've ordered uh, two other replacement carbs for other machines that I just haven't been able to get running right. So one is uh, the Echo two-stroke blower 
and my other uh, Atom Edger with the um, two-stroke Mitsubishi engine. So this one here is the Honda four-stroke, um, belongs to my father-in-law. And I have the, yeah, the two-stroke the two -stroke Mitsubishi, which I have never been happy with how it runs. So hopefully new carburetor on that and the Echo Blower. I'll do short videos on those. And if we can get them running, it'd be a miracle because they've never run right. Thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll try and get out some more videos soon. See you next time.